Hello everyone, welcome to Rasa's Classroom. Today we are solve a tricky math question for fun. Here is square root x plus y is equal to 7, x plus square root y is equal to 11, and here is x, y is equal to what? But remember that x and y is positive integer. Now how to solve this interesting math question? So I solve this question easy method. First of all, that it is square root x it will be a then if we use both side whole square so x is equal to a square so we are find out here is x is equal to a square then again let square root y is equal to v then if we use both side whole square y is equal to b square i use both side whole square now at this moment i put this value and this value here this is our first equation and this is our second equation so this equation square root x it will be a so a plus and y it will be v square v square is equal to seven and here is x it will be a square plus and square root y it will be b it will be square root y it will be b then here is 11 now at this moment you can see this expression here a square plus b this 11 you can see it will be 7 plus 4 because of that we know that 7 is equal to this so here a square plus b is equal to 7 7 is equal to a plus b square plus 4 i put this value here now at this moment here a square plus b minus a minus b square is equal to 4 i just move on this positive and this positive v square in this side it will be negative then here a square minus b square i take this value here and this is i take here is negative one is common this it will be positive a and this is negative v is equal to four now according to this identity i mean a square minus b square it will be a plus b times a minus b so if i apply this mass formula here a plus b times a minus b and here minus 1 this is a minus b is equal to 4 now here a minus b is common so if i take a minus b then it will be a plus b this is negative 1 is equal to 4 now we will find out a minus b and this is a plus b minus 1 is equal to 4 so at this moment uh, we will find out the factor of 4 uh, it will be 1 times 4 then you can see it will be 2 times 2 then it will be 4 times 1 so we will find out here is 3 keys first of all we are take 1 times 4 so you can see here a minus b times our first case and here a plus b minus 1 is equal to 1 times 4 so at this moment here a minus b is equal to 1 and here a plus b minus 1 is equal to 4 then you can say here is a plus b is equal to 5 how 4 plus 1 it will be 5 so i put this value here so it will be a plus b is equal to 5 so i add both equation a plus a it will be 2a but bb cancel out i add this is 6 1 plus 5 it will be 6 then if i divide both side by 2 we are find out here is a is equal to 3 and here a is equal to 3 so if i put this below here so it will be a plus b is equal to 5 then a is equal to 3 plus b is equal to 5 then b is equal to 5 minus 3 will be 2.
But remember that or recall, first of all, we are let square root x is equal to a. I mean, s square is equal to a, y is equal to v square. So you can see really here, x square, a is equal to a square and y is equal to v square so x it will be 3 square i mean x it will be 9 then here y is equal to 2 square i mean y is equal to 4 so we'll find out our final answer x y it will be 9 4 this is positive integer x y is equal to 9 4 but others case here a minus b times a plus b minus 1 is equal to 2 2 so at this moment if i take these it will be a minus b times a plus b minus 1 is equal to 2 2 okay 2 times 2 then here a minus b is equal to 2 and a plus b minus 1 is equal to 2 then a plus b is equal to 3 I take this value here a plus b is equal to 3 then if I add both so 2a is equal to 5 which is a is equal to 5 over 2 but this is not positive integer it is not possible because of that we are need positive integer we are find out our third case this is our second case and third case which is a minus b is equal to 4 so okay and other case which is a plus b minus 1 is equal to 4 a uh, 1 so a plus b minus 1 is equal to 1 so a minus b is equal to 4 and a plus b is equal to 2 so if i take this below here so we will find out here a plus b is equal to 2 then if i add both so it will be 2a is equal to 6 so then if i divide both sides by a 2 then it will be 3 so a is equal to 3 we'll find out here is a is equal to 3 now v is equal to 1 so i take this value here it will be 3 plus b is equal to 2 then b is equal to negative 1 b is equal to negative 1 and a is equal to 3 so negative something it is not possible because of that we are find out here is a y is equal to complex number we are not find out real solution so our only solution which is x y is equal to 9 4 this is our final answer in this math problem. Thank you all. If you enjoyed this math Olympiad question, please subscribe my channel for other interesting video. Goodbye. Take care.